the Anglican Church of Kenya Archbishop Jackson, uh, Jackson Olesa Pitt has called on the Senate to prosecute Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa's impeachment motion before them fairly, exercising neutrality and impartiality. That's right. Now, Sir Pete, who spoke in Garissa, has also called on Kenyans to remain calm as the Senate undertakes its mandate, revealing that efforts to unite the President and his deputy have hit a snag. And as Kamau Mwangi now reports, the Carrick has asked members of parliament to focus on issues affecting Kenyans more so in the health and education sectors. After the National Assembly resolved to impeach from office Deputy President Igadi Gashagwe in a record 11 hours Wednesday last week, the Senate is being called upon to examine the matter before them carefully before making a decision that could historically alter the country's political discourse. Anglican Church Archbishop Jackson Olesa Pitt wants the Senate to examine Gashagwa's impeachment devoid of bias and impartiality. Kile ningesema pia kwa bunge la Senate ni kwamba uh, wamepewa jukumu kama upper house ya kuangalia kile bunge imefanya kama ni njia moja yapo ya ku create ile inaitwa checks and balances uh, wa angalia kesi kwa makini while referencing the parading of the Gashagwa family wealth in public, Sapit believes time is ripe for the much publicized lifestyle audit so that Kenyans are made aware of their leaders engaging in corrupt undertakings to enrich themselves at their expense. Wanasiasa wetu. Eh, kwa nini basi tusifungue namna ya kufanyia kila mwanasiasa aliye chaguliwa audit kama vile Gashagwa amefanywa. Ili tujue basi nani uh, with efforts by religious leaders to reconcile the president and his deputy having hit the war, the cleric says Kenyan should be wary of being sucked into a political turbulence that is of no consequence to them. Eh, kwa sababu jambo ikiwa kotini na jambo ikiwa katika sasa seneti na bunge moja imepitisha sasa iko katika uwanja wao sisi tunaendelea tu kutoa warning kwamba eh, mwelekeo tunayochukua haitajenga sisi mwelekeo ingejenga Kenya ni ile ya umoja na kutafuta suluhu ya matatizo yetu kwa njia moja eh, kwa, kwa njia pamoja the ailing health and education sectors are some of the priorities that Sapit now want MPs to embark on as Kenyans continue to grapple with problems arising from the migration from NHIF to SHA and the university funding model that threatens to lock many out of tertiary education. Uliona hata jana katika Runinga watu bado wanaenda hospitali ile mbango ya kuhama kutoka NHIF kano kwa SHA bado eh, systems haijafanya kazi. Hiyo ndio ingekuwa inawekwa kipambele kushughulikwa ndio hakuna mkenya atabaki bila kuhudumiwa ile capitation ya, ya, ya high schools tunaona funding model ya university bado haijatatuliwa kwa hivyo hayo ndio mambo tungepatia kipaumbele kwa sababu ndio miundo msingi ya kujenga maisha yetu kama Mwangi Citizen TV